Okay, what's up everyone? This is gonna be the first video on my channel in a minute. Pretty much I'm in Toronto right now. Um, just walking around by myself, gotta grab some shit cool away. Yeah, I'm here with the company I work for. I'm a marketing intern. The company is called Ever. And basically what we're doing is we're making a banking app and we're gonna have a card. And yeah, so right now I'm doing marketing, copywriting, and just like a whole bunch of random stuff too. And then pretty much what I'm gonna do on this channel now, I think is like, I'm gonna update where I am career-wise and then just what I'm doing in general like random stuff and just like my life in general it's gonna be very general talk about what I'm working on when I'm gonna get there etc etc I have pretty big ambitions and the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to watch I want to look back on it when I'm rich inshallah pretty much and I want to look because I'm 17 right now right I've been working on everything since I've been like 16. I want to make sure I record everything and document it because some people told me oh I wish I documented what I'm doing so that's what I'm gonna do document and yeah I'll start recording again in a bit. Alright so Chipotle was closed so I went to a food court and this is what I got it's like some shawarma it's I and yeah I hope the last shot was good so here's another one so just ate my shawarma, it was like 7 out of 10, not too bad, albasha is better. Uh, now I'm walking like kind of the middle of nowhere-ish, not really, I'm in downtown. Uh, I'm trying to get to the CN Tower, I'm not going to go up, but I'm just trying to go like to the base of it, I just want to see what's going on. Uh, I'll flip the camera show you guys. This is the CN Tower, it's daytime to so no lights, and yep. I promise there's nicer parts, this is just where I'm at right now. Where I'm out here, you can see the CN Tower. Uh, I'm in like some sort of town square, I don't even know what's going on. There's like a train, there's like a bunch of people, I don't even know what's going on. I'm about to show you guys. There's like a train, a bunch of retards, morons, CN Tower. Pretty much I'm out here in Toronto because this company called Techstars. I think they're a VC, I don't know. Pretty much what they are is like a startup incubator. So they fly companies out, give them the resources they need, and then you can pull up, use their office space, and like they just help you with a lot of stuff. And so they gave us like 150K. So I do marketing and copywriting. At first I was doing a lot of content work, but Brandon's a lot better at content than me. And he didn't really need too much of my help. I just helped him like come up with ideas. So that was that. And then I transitioned to handling our emails. So I started doing some copywriting and then apparently I'm really good according to Jeremy. Jeremy's our founder and Brandon he does like design content, stuff like that. And then what else? I do all the website copy, all any copy really, I handle that. Yeah, I also just help out with like literally random crap all over the board. And eventually, my roadmap right now looks like, so I'm a marketing intern right now. And then my roadmap looks like in a few months, if we secure this partnership with EQ Bank or any bank. And then we get funding. Right now, it looks like we're about to get funding from Impression Ventures, which is like this company, this huge VC, stands for venture capital. Pretty much they just invest in startups for a living. And then... These guys, they do like three investments per year. They're like hella conservative. And they only like do, they only place bets on like companies they actually think are gonna work. And Impression, when they talk with Jeremy, they're like, dude, we love your company, we'd write the check right now. You just need to get a partnership with a different bank than People's, because they take like 80% of the profit or something. So now we're about to get linked up with EQ and the other guys. We hired a business consultant, or sorry, a fintech consultant. His name is Oren. He's worked in the past with Wealth Simple, Shake Pay, Instacart. He has like a crazy portfolio. Right now, Oren's about to do a presentation or an introduction with EQ Bank. We secure this partnership. We're basically set and our lives change. Like, we've got to get some bank, bro, for real. 
uh, I have equity in this company. I'm on like a four year equity plan. I get like a certain percent per year and I'm not paid at the moment, but that's just because we don't have like the funds for that. Also, I'm not even full time. I usually do like 20 hours a week. So I'm part time because I'm in school right now. Yeah, I'm in Vanier right now. I don't really like it. But once we get this funding, I'll be able to start getting paid. It's gonna be fucking crazy. I'm not, I haven't had a job since Costco. I just walked out on Costco in like June because they didn't want to give me vacation when I went to Vancouver on June 22nd. So screw those guys. Now I'm on to better things. Also, like Jeremy, he's the founder. He went to McRoberts like me. He graduated like five years before me though. And he's just a really cool dude. He's pretty much my mentor. He just like tells me a whole bunch of random shit and I just learn a whole bunch of random shit from him. And yeah, yeah, that's that. Now I'm gonna talk about my plans for the future. I'm gonna cut though to a different location. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about myself and what I wanna do, where I see myself, all that. I'm in college right now. I don't really like college. What I wanna do is I wanna make a whole lot of money so then I can just finish college and not go to uni. That's kind of what I'm trying to do right now. So how am I gonna do that? Right now, working with Ever, I think honestly we're on like right on the brink of like a huge breakthrough. I actually believe in this company, I have equity, so it's in my best interest to like try my ass off, do whatever I have to. I've seen videos of like Mark Cuban and like rich people saying like, oh, only focus on one thing, because if you focus on 10, then like you can get fucked. Basically, if you focus on 10, you'll get like, you'll make like $50 a month out of each thing. But like, if you focus on one thing, you'll get like 50K a month from that one thing, right? It's like, focus, then it's like more exponential. I don't know if that makes sense. And then also Jeremy, he said the same thing. He was like, oh, whatever you do, focus on one thing, you'll get like better results. What he's saying will make sense. Like, even if he wasn't my boss, I guess, like it makes sense completely. What I'm probably gonna do is focus on two things just because I'm not being paid right now, so I need to get paid. Uh, right now I'm doing trading, like day trading. I'm doing Bitcoin, kind of Ethereum, not really. Honestly, whatever coin. Usually what I do, what I'm doing right now is I chart Bitcoin, I chart USDT dominance, BTC dominance. I trade Bitcoin and I copy whatever trade I do on Bitcoin to Ethereum. And that's been working out really well so far. And yeah, I'm looking forward to see where that goes. Cause obviously there's people on Insta who make like 100K in one day, right? Obviously there's fake people, but there's people who actually do that. So I'm doing that right now. I'm just learning. I'm using real money. By the way, I'm a little sick right now. So my voice is a bit funny. I also really want to do a marketing agency. I actually partnered up with all my good friends. I really want to do that. So I'm also going to do that. So actually I'm going to be doing three things. Right now I'm learning Google ads so I can help out Cyrus with Vancouver Green Electric. I want to run the ads for his electrician company. Cause if I can do that, I can get a testimonial from his dad. I'm going to use that testimonial and flex it on all the electricians. And then me and all my friends will be doing hella phone calls, grabbing like hella electricians. So that's that. But the thing about that is it is going to take up a lot of my time. So I'm trying to see if there's something more valuable I can do. But for the moment, I am not too sure. I'm going to do it, see where it goes. I'm definitely going to help Cyrus though and get the testimonials. So then I'm in the position where it's like, okay, I can do whatever I want, right? I want to pursue the marketing agency, I'll do that. I don't want to, I won't do it. At least I'm helping Cyrus. And I, it just gives me more flexibility, right? Now I can do the marketing agency or I can do this, do that. It's all about like, what are my options, right? Um, in a year, I see myself, I don't really know where I see myself. I just know I'm gonna be like chief of marketing. So CMO, I'm gonna be CMO at Ever. And then I'll be probably managing other people. This is all assuming we get the partnership with a bank. And if we get the partnership with a bank, we're basically set for life. So, yeah, I'm gonna assume that because that's what I believe. So, 
I'll be managing other people, hiring people, managing a team. Uh, yeah. So actually, I think I'm going to be spending even less time once I become CMO on the job. I won't be doing 40 hours, probably less. Obviously, there's going to be weeks where it's like, okay, I got to do 40 hours. But there's also going to be those weeks where it's like, okay, I do 20 hours, I'm chill. So that's that. Um, eventually, my plan is to start my own tech company. Right now, I'm leaning towards software as a service, so SaaS for short. But the thing is, I don't know if I'm going to do B2B, B2C, so like business to business or business to consumer. There's pros and cons to both. And then at the same time, I don't know if I really want to do SaaS, right? So I'm thinking, I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to do something in tech though for sure, just because you're valued at like 100x compared to like any other industry pretty much because your your revenue isn't capped with tech right like you can go like unlimited so that's the thing i see people getting exits like they get acquired and they just cash out like 500 m right like 500 mil that's what i'm trying to be right i want like a ton of money so yeah maybe in a different video i'll talk more about like my goals I don't know if, how much I really want to say because I kind of believe like you shouldn't tell people like your biggest goals. I don't know if I want to like put it publicly, but for now my main like priority is by any means necessary that's legal obviously get enough income so I don't have to go to university because my time is valuable. I'm young, like I work hard, so I'm not trying to waste four or five years on uni, right? Or three years. But I'm still going to finish college, so I have the flexibility where, okay, if this tech stuff doesn't work, which is not going to happen, but if it doesn't, at least now I have a backup, I can just go do three years of uni, like, quick, quick, like, it's not like uni's going to run away, right? I really just want to make sure I'm not rushing into a wrong decision with uni. I have to make this, I have to make this quick because I just ran out of storage, but basically Jeremy told me, People who go against the system really and like the average thing like I'll go to university whatever they usually have like really good outcomes obviously there's junkies and stuff but if you're ambitious right because if you go against the system then that means like you really believe in yourself if I just go along with the system I'm just gonna be average right what's the average advice go to university get a job buy a house okay cool whatever but if I do different then I won't be average I'll be shit or I'll be really good right like in the startup world, there's like two binary options. Either you blow up or you fucking fail. And I'm ready to fail as many times as it takes to get a fuck ton of money. So yeah, I have to wrap this up. I'm gonna go get some food downtown with Jeremy and Brandon. I'll probably record again later. Yeah, so <clears throat> I'm walking to the office now. I wanna talk a little bit about something I forgot to mention yesterday when I was recording. So pretty much what, what working at Ever is gonna open up for me is that now I can follow my LinkedIn like, yo, I was a part of this big win. And then I'm gonna be able to start my own syndicate. So what that is is like, I'm gonna be an angel investor and then I'm gonna be pulling money from LPs, which is basically other people who invest in my syndicate. And then I get carry. Pretty much what that means is like, I get 20% of the profits whenever there's like an acquisition or anything like that. And then I'm gonna be able to put on my syndicate like, yo, I'm backed by Jeremy Quo. And then I should be able to get some people, cause like the minimum check size is only like a thousand. So it's really open to like anyone can invest. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. There's some VCs who make like freaking 500K a year and like it's easy work, like four hours a day type thing, so. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing that paired with whatever tech company I start. That's really like the route I see right now.
got freaking satanic temple in here, bro. And there's actually people. Like the lights are on. What the? That is creepy, bro. to go through security and I love traveling. I want to be location independent so I want to go wherever I want whenever I want. I don't want to be like restricted from location or anything. 